All right, so here's the answer to your questions. Cosine minus 30 degrees is radical 3 over 2. And sine minus 240, the answer is minus radical 3 over 2. And cosine 570, let's move it over a little bit so you can see. Minus 570, uh, plus 570, the answer is minus radical 3 over 2. Now, if answers are you need, um, you can move on from here. Uh, what I'll do next two, three minutes is show you how to get this one on the test and give you step-by-step -step process so you can do this on your own. Uh, how you start is relatively easy. What you really want to do is draw this big unit circle. I'm sure your teacher probably taught you on the classrooms. Um, so the step one, what you want to do is you want to find the angle. Find the angle. Okay, so minus 30 is really easy. It's going counterclockwise. Uh, clockwise and 30 degrees okay so when you're drawing the angle once you find the point or you, once you find the angle you want to put a dot there Sorry, here. you want to put a dot there okay so this is minus 30 here and then the dot has a coordinates it has x y pair okay an easy way to do this one is when a 30 60 angle let me draw it on the side over here when the hypotenuse is 1 the shortest leg is always half of the longest hypotenuse. And then using the Pythagorean theorem, you can see this side is radical 3 over 2. Okay, This is 30, 60 degree angle. So when you have a triangle like this, the shortest leg is always half, which means this distance is half. Since it's in the fourth quadrant, this is y. y is minus half. Okay, Then the x is the longer leg, is radical 3 over 2, and it's positive. This is what I refer to as longer leg, radical 3 over 2. So from here, it's relatively easy. Once you know the angle ends over here, this is the ending point. Okay, step one, you find the angle. Step two is you find ending point and get x, y pair for that ending point. Okay, step two is find the ending point and get x, y. x is always your cosine value. And then y is always your sine value. Okay, so from this cosine, let's go through it. Minus 30 degrees, we found our ending point, which is over here. Let's see if you can see it. The ending point is over here. I went ahead, I find my coordinates for it. I know x is the longer leg, radical 3 over 2. y is the shorter leg, so it's half. And since it's negative, I have a minus here. And then I know from here, this is always my cosine value. This is always my sine value. Okay, since it's cosine I'm looking for, I'm going to look for the x-coordinate for that point, which is radical 3 over 2. All right? And then let's go on to the next step. Um, you are looking for a different angle here. Let's draw this big triangle here. Okay. This one, we're looking for a sine of minus 240. Now, how do you find this angle? You've got to find the angle first. Minus means it's clockwise. Okay, so when we get over here, this is clockwise 180. Move it down over here. So you have to travel 60 degrees more, right? So here's your ending point. Let's call it a point B. From point B, you want to find the coordinate for it. Okay, so this is the x coordinate as the short leg and it's minus half because this is my positive end right this is minus half what's the y y is the long leg this is the long leg and it has to be radical 3 over 2 okay so here's our call sign value here's our sign value right so our sign of minus 40 Sine of minus 40, or maybe let's write it over here. Sine of minus 240, I'm looking for the y value, so it's radical 3 over 2. Right? It's pretty easy to do. Okay. Let's do one more example here, so you can see this. Draw a big circle. Now, this time, we're looking for a cosine of 570. 570 just means go around a circle once, you have 360, right? So 570 divided by 360, going around once, we have um, 
was it 210, I think. Yeah, 210. So since there's a positive angle here, it's a positive angle here, we're going to go counterclockwise. Okay, so if you were to rotate starting here, getting over here, you have positive 180. And from there, you got to go 30 degrees more. Okay. This is our ending point. Once you find the ending point of that big angle, so basically, practically, we did this and stopped here. Okay, this is our ending point. C is our ending point. From here, you can see the coordinator for C. It's pretty easy. There's a short leg and there's a long leg, right? The X is the long leg. It's negative. Short leg is here. Here's our cosine value. So cosine of this one is equal to a minus radical 3 over 2. All right, have a confident day.